What's going on guys? My name is Sean. Some of you may know me as Flint, AKA Flint 55. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a full walkthrough, walk around of my 2006 E55 AMG and everything that I've done to it so far. So stay tuned. I picked a really bad day to be filming and we're right by the water. But here she is. This is my 2006 Mercedes E55 AMG. If you haven't already guessed, it's in Flint gray aka 368U and here's just a little walk around just the basically completed build so where do I even start man from coming from a stock E55 to now having it look like this let's start with the obvious so we did a full souvenir E63 front end conversion shout out to at souvenir on Instagram at souvenir motorsports everywhere else so we have their front E63 bumper. We have their XY carbon fiber lip, their side skirts, rear valence as well. And also their rear wing. My diffuser, which I've put on, is actually gonna be my own product that I'm gonna be bringing to the market soon. So stay tuned for Finesse Motorsports. W211 E55 and E63 carbon fiber diffuser. We put on the European trunk panel, uh, a very subtle mod that not a lot of people have noticed or even chosen to do. Very subtle, which I like. I really love that the trim is just a little bit longer than the US spec bumpers, trunk lids, but not quite as long as the facelift trunk lids from the facelift 211 from 2007 to 2009. I think that very nice little subtle touch that I've done. The taillights we kept stock from the pre-facelift. Might be an unpopular opinion. I think it's popular, but I think the rear pre-facelift taillights look a lot better than the facelift ones. More of a subtle mod. We have the carbon fiber B pillars and these are handmade by Nick Wright over in California. So shout out to Nick Wright for these beautiful, beautiful B pillars. And just check out the detail on these. They're just perfect. So shout out to Nick Wright for those. Amazing quality, great guy, super knowledgeable on the W211 platform if you haven't already talked to him. Another little subtle mod that I've done. So these are Eurospec folding power mirrors from the facelift 211. I got these from Great Britain actually, and I threw some carbon fiber mirror caps over on top of them. A Little more of a subtle touch, like I said. Bit of a facelift here and there. The wheels. So these are non-US spec S63 AMG 19s. These wheels are actually never offered in the US as an option. They were only offered on Euro and Asian market W222 S63 AMGs. And with just a small spacer front and rear, I think in my opinion, it's perfect for the 211 body. Just this fitment is amazing. I've gotten so many compliments on these wheels. These are honestly probably the wheels that made the Flint 55 what it is you know, to this day, you just see Flint Gray Metallic E55 AMG on 10 spoke wheels. And you just know it's Flint. You just know it's me. Coming back to the front, we did the E63 facelift headlights as well. Little subtle mod that not too many people know about. I mean, if you know, you know, of course. Uh, the previous owner, when I bought the car, had the flat badge installed. So he actually took away the star and had an AMG flat badge installed. And I actually changed it back to the stock star, the standing star. You got to let people know that it's a Benz, of course. DRLs, daytime running lights, also from Souvenir. Another little subtle mod that I think just completes the car all together. I really, really love the look of these. Love how it modernizes the car just a little bit gives it that little bit of that w212 e63 touch on it and every time i see this car it just makes me smile man yeah, 
So here she is. I think that covers all for the outside. Got the Flint 55 stickers over here. Car came stock with the Pano sunroof. Really love that option. I think it's great even though it adds some extra weight. And if you notice, I have just a touch of fender damage here. Car is not perfect. It is 18 years old now. This is when I took it on track last year and actually went off because my brakes went, got too hot. E55 is not a track car, believe it or not. This thing is definitely, definitely not a track car. Amazing, amazing highway cruiser, for sure not a track car. It was doing great actually, the handling was fine, a lot of grip, a lot of power, but I was getting a little bit cocky with my braking zone towards the end of the day and the pads that I had on it just weren't really cutting it. Smoked them out. I was on the last straight, the final straight, going maybe 120, 130, standing on the brakes and then boom, foot goes to the floor. So that was really a fun time. But thankfully, no way. <laughs> not the Audi doing donuts. Anyways, um, really not the preferred track weapon car, but a fantastic, fantastic cruiser. Highway cruiser, this thing just eats highway miles. Oh, just looks so good in the sun. Now let's move on to the interior. So these are some illuminated W212 E63 AMG door kick panels, side door sill panels. It's light outside right now, so these aren't illuminated. When it comes, when it turns into nighttime or when it's parked indoors, they do light up and it's a little subtle touch that I really, really love about this car. I haven't really done too, too much to the interior. It's fairly stock. Still have the stock steering wheel. That is gonna be done soon. Like I said in one of my Instagram posts, I haven't really found a custom wheel that I loved and I think is perfect. I was looking at the W204 C63 wheels, maybe the W212 E63 wheel. This guy in the Q7 was doing donuts, that's insane. So windows all around, I have a 35% ceramic tint on every single window. Yes, including the windshield. If you know me, I'm a big lover of windshield tint. Not too dark, not too dark, absolutely. Just a little bit of tint on the windshield I think looks great. So stock steering wheel, um, all the trim that I have around here, still factory. Magnetic phone mount over here. Love this thing, upgraded from a little holster before to just the uh, magnetic mount. Holds it really nice and tight, so love that. The radar detector, this is the Escort Max 360C, and the C I believe stands for color. Superb, superb investment. Honestly, will pay for itself when you avoid your first scroll of tickets definitely even if you're not a huge speeder you know why, why take the chance like this this just gives you the peace of mind this radar detector plus ways and i don't want to say you feel invincible but you feel invincible stock infotainment system don't fix what's broken really all the trim basically stock i do have that headrest piece that i do need to put in i have a new one i've just been really lazy haven't gotten the chance to put it in yet the trim itself I was debating on doing carbon fiber, also from my boy Nick Wright, but it's really expensive. And I don't know, I think, I think just the wood on the inside just gives it like a nice little classy touch. So we'll see, something in the future. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Scent sprayer for the vent. Gotta make sure the car is smelling good at all times. My sticker, my custom sticker that a lot of you seem to enjoy. <laughs> and last but not least, the SLR McLaren shift knob. This thing is just so beautiful. Doesn't work yet. If you've seen some of my Instagram reels and or TikToks, where when I press the button, it turns on, you were fooled. <laughs> uh, it doesn't do anything yet. Why? It needs to be coded. And so that's why tomorrow I am dropping my car off at Sean at Evolve Auto. Uh, he's a Mercedes master technician. He's super specialized with the SLR McLaren, the SLS, all sorts of specialty AMGs. He will hopefully be figuring out this issue for us. 
we looked at the SLR's wiring diagram compared to the E55's and it is, I don't want to say completely different, but it's pretty different. So hopefully we will be getting to the bottom of this. It looks amazing, you know, feels so good in the hand. The red light works, which is fantastic. Love that red light, but unfortunately it does nothing. Looks great. Such a great fidget toy. $2,500 fidget toy when I'm driving, you know, if I'm sitting in traffic. Just pop, 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 pop. Anyways, behind there, let's get the battery up. So we have our key. Throw that in. Let's get the radio powered up. Oh yeah, the Bluetooth device is a connected successfully. Ah, uh, let's not get no trademark infringement, copyright infringement. So we have the stock radio and over here, uh, which a lot of people have inquired on, that is a Spotify car thing screen. So the previous owner, he had a Sirius XM unit behind here. I don't listen to Sirius XM radio. So I just had a little hideaway over here. So it was a great spot to mount up the Spotify car thing feels natural where it is when I'm driving. I can just put my hand here, change up the music, don't have to touch any buttons, it's great. And how I connect my phone, I have a Bluetooth to FM transmitter that's currently in the trunk. Not the most ideal, definitely not the most ideal solution, you know, to be listening to music, but hey, it works for now. I could change up my music on the fly. If you're worried about my keychain, the Ferrari Corsa Clienti, Shout out to the Berettas from Salson Trucking. A few of my friends were car spotting at the Americana Manhasset when the Berettas came through. I believe, what were they? A 458 Speciale and I think an F12. And they gave little Sean this lanyard and I've been using it ever since. So I believe only Ferrari clients have this. So I'm not a Ferrari client yet, but I will be getting my Lamborghini soon, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. Seats stock, seat back stock. I have my custom German Euro plate that I will be throwing in soon. I wanted to do a shoot with the German plate today, but the space that I have in mind turns out it was closed Mondays and Tuesdays and I'm dropping my car off tomorrow, so. Maybe this weekend uh, we'll throw a plate on, the German plate on, get in front of some old looking buildings, you know, have a cool little German themed shoot. I believe I covered everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, excuse my English. Stock speedometer, you know, nothing, nothing really too crazy. Oh, I forgot to do under the hood. Let's do that. Because what's an E55 without the compressor? How could I forget that? And here she is. So if you don't already know, this is the 5.4 liter factory supercharged V8 compressor. Stock power, I believe 469 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque. Definitely not a number to scoff at. Not too far from stock. This was one of my grail pieces. Jesus, there goes the Q7 again. Basically one of my grail pieces right here, the Rentec carbon fiber air box. I've been looking for one of these air boxes actually since before I even had the car. Super hyped to have found one of these. I actually got this locally oh, for a steal. Uh, shout out, what's his name? Chris at Computerized Mercedes Care. It just oh, looks so good. Definitely one of my grail pieces for this car. The previous owner, one of the previous owners, installed Eurocharged mid-length headers and also did a resonator delete on this car, kept the stock factory mufflers. I threw on a set of W204 C63 AMG mufflers just to complete it all. So we have the Eurocharged 83 millimeter supercharger pulley, the UPD five-piece billet aluminum pulley kit. Shout out Fabtech Performance for sending these out. Fabtech Performance coolant tank, that's running down to the Souvenir 
E55 heat exchanger. And down below, we have the Fabtech, I believe it's V2 heat exchanger. Wow, Audi boy is going crazy. We have the Fabtech Performance carbon fiber intake tubes. Gotta love the carbon, you know. Thank you very much, appreciate it. We have, if you know, it's a super common problem on the E55s, the badge goes missing. I forgot whose Instagram made this, but it took like three months to come, so I, I don't think I could recommend this guy. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit more carbon fiber to complete the whole trifecta. To the AMG oil cap. Ah, yes. Before I forget, oh, I think that's everything that I've done under the hood. Uh, if I forget something, I'll make another video. We'll see. And one of my favorite mods again is the Edition 55 AMG gas cap. <laughs> In black and red. Have my little souvenir sticker from our time at the New York Auto Show at the Javits Center. Probably gonna keep that there just for little shits and giggles. That's a cool little memory. Fuel level checked. If you watched my vlog from that time. Uh, but yeah, this is the Flint 55 in all her glory. Uh, her name is Becky, by the way. I don't think many people know, besides most of my close, some of my close friends know. Her name's Becky. She's my baby. And I love her. <laughs> oh, this Audi's, I, this Audi's gonna mack and I'm gonna laugh so hard when he does. <laughs> so you guys are gonna have to excuse me just a little bit for the shaky cinematic footage. I am shooting handheld on my 85 millimeter f1.4. I did leave my gimbal at home, unfortunately. I forgot to bring that with me. Just have my trusty tripod with me. Uh, but I am filming handheld. There is IS on this lens, but it's not a magician. It's not a magic lens, but even handheld, this lens does look great. Going down all the way to f1.4. Fantastic little lens. And what a fantastic car. Oh. Jesus Christ. That shit hurted it. I hope my camera don't blow over. All right. All right, guys, I think that's it for today's video. Once again, my name is Sean, AKA Flint for some of you, AKA Flint 55 for most of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Maybe I can do some tutorials about how I started car photography slash videography. Maybe we'll do some photography tutorials because it's not all about the car. It's gotta be something about me, you know? We'll see. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching again and stay tuned for the next video.